Hey guys, welcome to our weekend getaway video. Uh, we're actually heading to uh, Austin. So we live close to uh, Houston in like the suburbs of Houston and now we're heading to Austin. Um, this is just a quick, you know, weekend getaway. Uh, today it's Friday. We're both done with our work and then we're heading there. Uh, it's about a three, three and a half hour drive. Um, it looks pretty cloudy right now. I think it's also going to be cloudy tomorrow. We were hoping for some good weather, obviously, some nice um, sunlight, but um, of course that's not in our control. Uh, so we're going to just make do with what we have. It, it is a unique getaway for sure. The location or the place that we're going to stay in is not like a regular hotel, um, you know, or like an Airbnb. It's very different from where we have stayed before, basically. And we are super excited to go see it ourselves and experience it and also to obviously take you all with us. And we are about an hour away now. We are hoping to catch the sunset. Although I don't think with these clouds we are going to experience a sunset. Uh, but um, let's see how it goes. And where we are going, once you actually see the location, um, you may feel that it's in the middle of nowhere. However, it's literally in uh, like 5 to 10 minutes from the city. So everything pretty much is accessible from that location. So whether it's restaurants, grocery stores, whatever you need, it's, it's pretty accessible because Austin, the city is, is right there. It's definitely much cooler here compared to Houston. Um, I would say easily about 10 degrees cooler. So it does feel still like spring over here versus Houston already feels like summer. And it's just a minute away now. Super excited to see, you know, what it looks like. Uh, it is getting a little dark. So I'm hoping that we at least get the tour of the, you know, of the room or of the entire, you know, location uh, before it gets too dark. And here is the entrance. I believe there should be a code uh, to enter because the gate should ideally be closed. But because there was a car in front of us, we were able to get in. Um, so this looks like the parking lot for the um, all of the, you know, the different pods uh, and then the pods are actually up, you know, up the slope. So you all will see the pods in a second. Uh, so what we're coming here to do is actually glamping. Uh, it's a kind of, uh, I guess, experience we have never done before. So we are very, very excited to, you know, stay in these pods and experience glamping. And here we are, our pod number is 9 um, and there is no check-in counter or anything like that like we have in resorts or hotels. Uh, everything is online, everything is uh, virtual. So we checked in online and then they sent us instru instructions to get in to the room also online. And we're heading up to our pod now. We can bring our cars um, up to the pod just so that we can unload the car. But then if we have to actually park it overnight, that needs to be in the parking space that we showed you before. So this is what it looks like. Um, that's the deck, uh, the closed, the black uh, closed enclosure you can see is basically the hot tub, which we will be opening up in just a bit and this is what it looks like from the outside so they have kept this portion open or uh, from of the pod so that we can even stargaze at night i'm hoping these clouds clear so we can actually get to see some stars there's also like a swing um, almost like a hammock type swing and um, we're on the upper deck there are some on the lower deck as you can see in front um, so there's our car, we're just unloading and then we will go and park it in the long-term parking. 
Okay, so let's take a tour from the inside now. Uh, we're trying to understand or get the code to uh, go inside the room. Um, it's a little complicated, I believe, but um, they have sent us the instructions. So we're just trying to figure that out. So there's a code for a key and then that key is used to go inside. So we have found the key and here we go. So as soon as you enter, here is the kitchenette. Um, they do have a small kitchenette, they have a microwave, um, a refrigerator, a coffee maker and they have given some snacks which obviously they will charge um, if we consume them. Um, there's this nice uh, sort of lounge area right here in front of the bed and you can see the bed opens uh, is facing the open you know side of the pod so you can nicely stargaze or even look outside with, even when you're laying in the bed. And I know the flashlight is actually hampering us from seeing outside. I'll do like a day tour as well, just so we get like a view of the uh, entire area uh, during the day. And they have this loft sort of a thing um, here as well. Um, it's basically just a queen size bed and they've kept this ladder uh, to go up top. Um, and so I believe you can rent the place for like four people or if you are like a family with kids uh, there is an extra bed here on top it's it's a queen size bed so nothing really huge uh, but you know there's extra sleeping space for sure okay and here we go this is the bathroom so they have a standing shower um, and then they have kept some towels and um, some basic amenities in the bathroom as well. And back here they have this open closet sort of a thing where you can just uh, keep your bag and clothes and stuff. And here we are outside again. It's gotten completely dark now. I have opened half of the hot tub just to show you all that that's the hot tub. Very excited to go in there tomorrow. Uh, but it's gotten pretty dark and so we pretty much can't see anything but the room is nicely lit up so excited to lay in there and watch the night sky and here is a quick tour of the place um, so this is Uroscape uh, this is in Lago Vista, Texas which is very close to Austin just the neighborhood of Austin um, very quiet and pleasant they have 11 pods that they rent out uh, this place is quite busy. It, it does get full pretty quickly just because they have an ele just 11 pods and it is quite a unique experience to come stay here. Um, so if you're planning to, you know, uh, come in for a vacation over here, um, make sure you plan in advance. It is also an expensive uh, stay. Um, you know, usually glamping is not very cheap. So, um, you know, keep that in mind as well. Although we see uh, some of the pods being occupied, it is very quiet over here. Uh, they also have quiet hours and they are very strict about it. So make sure you all are uh, reading the instructions uh, before reserving the place. And as I mentioned before, there is not too much to do around here. Um, nice. If you are just you know, wanting to go and uh, just relax and stay within the pod and the hot tub, then this is the best place to do that. Um, the, again, Austin is very, very close. It's about 10-15 minutes from the uh, from you know Lago Vista. So if you are looking to explore the uh, town, then that's great. But other than that, there are not too many activities around this place. And this property does have a common pool area as well. We'll we'll visit that tomorrow. Um, and then I do see some uh, barbecue pits uh, if you all also are looking to barbecue.